Algeria protests president's offer fails to temper outrage The New York Times Vows by Algeria's ailing president, Abdelaziz Bouteflika, to set early elections should he win a new term in April appear not to have satisfied the thousands of demonstrators who have rallied against his candidacy. The youth who have been at the forefront of large-scale street protests against Mr. Bouteflika's bid for a fifth term demonstrated overnight Sunday, while opposition figures denounced the president's concessions as a sham. Protesters said their principal grievance you that Mr. Bouteflika is maintaining his candidacy after 20 years in office despite having a stroke in 2013 that left him paralyzed and nearly mute you had not been satisfied. Mr. Bouteflika they were not impressed by a letter read out on state television on Sunday by his campaign director, in which the Algerian president said he would not be a candidate in any future election. But he did not give a date for when those elections might be held and the letter amounted to an admission that he was certain to be re-elected in April. The legitimacy of the critics of the Algerian government said the concessions announced on Sunday were too little, too late. The youth today don't want a fifth term, Omar Belhouchet, the editor of the fiercely independent El Wadden newspaper, said in a telephone interview from Algiers. They are fed up with this authoritarian regime which is stifling people, which is pushing its own citizens to die in the Mediterranean, Mr. Belhouchet said, referring to the Algerian migrants currently attempting the hazardous sea crossing to Europe. The whole political system needs to be changed, he added. Mr. Bouteflika's condition is such that the Algerian ambassador in Paris had to appear on French television on Monday to affirm that Mr. Bouteflika is indeed alive. I say it all in power is thought to be exercised by a tight circle around the gravely ill president, including his younger brother, said Bouteflika and Ahmed Gade Salah, the 79-year-old army chief of staff. Algerian news Algeria is a strategic ally of the United States and France in combating Islamic extremists in the Sahara. Its military, Mr. Bouteflika and his allies have kept their grip on power by warning of a return to the bloodshed of two decades ago. But that argument, I couldn't care less about it, Murad, a doctor in Algiers who had joined the protesters, said of the letter. He refused to give, this isn't serious. And, it's Mr. Bouteflika is currently being treated in a hospital in Geneva. Saturday night, but Monday morning, the independent Algerian news site TSA reported that student marches against Mr. Bouteflika's candidacy were still taking place across Algeria. The promises are a trap, said Abdel Hakim, a contractor who was protesting in Algiers. The political class, the country rarely admits foreign journalists and has barred them completely during the latest unrest. Abdelaziz Rahabi, a former culture and communications minister who is now an opposition politician, said Monday in an interview, we don't consider them concessions. These are to save both. Hot, 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 hot,